Welcome back to Maya 2018 Basics. Today we're gonna to be covering creating layers. Creating layers is simply another way to manage your objects. Now, one way to obviously manage objects is over here in the outliner where we can do, let's say if we select this, this object right here, we can control H and hide and it goes hidden. If we select it, we can go shift H and bring it back. If we want to just select an object and isolate it, isolate the selected object, we would use this little guy right here, isolate select, but it's also a hotkey control one, and that will isolate that selected object. Now, if you look over here, this little icon over here, this is select by ob object type, select by component type. So that's another way to isolate your object. One other element that we won't discuss today is your masking, masking objects. So selecting different objects here, um, specifically, they're all selected, but you can also isolate based on you know different things, joints, which you would use in animation, uh, and different surface objects, and it says uh, deform objects, um, rendering objects, things like that. Okay, but layers is a very useful, useful feature to know. So let's bring back our. Let's go Control One. What happened? What happened? There we go. Control one. I needed to select the object. Do that sometimes. What happened? What happened? All right. So when you're using, uh, when you're modeling against a reference, meaning you would put a bitmap on, on these planes here, and you would probably have another plane dear, down here on the bottom to represent your, your top view. This would be your front view and your side view. And you would ultimately be tracing it and modeling it as you go. Well, as you're modeling and using this one object, you want to be able to see this. And you'd probably put it in wireframe mode or, or you would use uh, x-ray or something like that. So you could trace it down and all that. But the same problem arises is that you're most likely going to get into accidentally selecting these objects and you don't want to do that. So really good way to manage that is to select all these, go into layers down here. This is in your channel box layer editor. You can also get there with this icon here, channel box editor, go into layers and just say create layer from selected. And there you go. You can double click on this. You can call this reference if you want. And there you go. So now let's go through these little tabs here. The V is tog toggles your visibility on and off. So now you can toggle it on and off. All right. Uh, the P is visibility during playback for uh, animation, that kind of stuff. You won't use that unless you're doing animation stuff. So we won't get too much into that. These are the really interesting uh, toggles right here. This is cycling through three options. Um, this is nothing. Everything's selectable. And then T would be your template mode. And the template mode is just your wireframe mode. And it's still uns unselectable as a T. It's selectable as a nothing when you have nothing in this box. And then R is what you'll most likely always have it in, which is reference. And again, you can't select it. So you can sit here and start modeling away while you have your reference layers. And you can continue doing that as you move along. You can also add layers. Now, we don't have anything in here, but we can always take this if we wanted to take this and add it here. We could set selected, uh, let's see, um, add selected object, and there it is. So it's in layer five. So we'd wanna say, you know, whatever, box. And we've got it, all right? And now if we go into layers and delete unused layers, it just shows the box and the reference, okay? Now if I wanted to, take visibility out of there, turn that into a template or a reference. I can do all that in there. This just manages colors and that'll do it. Over here, these uh, are just create new layers, assign selected objects. So these are just little hot icons that you can still do in here as well. So that's 
a wonderful feature known as creating layers. And again, you can hide objects. You can hit control one and get into isolating objects. And you can also use masking menus. So lots of different ways to organize your objects, but creating layers is definitely one you wanna be utilizing. All right, that'll do it everyone. Have a beautiful day in the world of Maya, where creativity abounds.